the question, why Amazon? Why Google? Why Disney, right? Why our company is bound to come up in your interview, at least somewhere in the interview process. And yet I am so surprised to see how few people actually prepare to have a great answer for this question. Your answer to why our company can be a make or break in whether you move forward or not in the interview process. So you gotta know how to prepare an excellent answer that really connects the dots between you and the company and makes you stand out from other candidates. So let's talk about how to answer it. Now, if we haven't met, my name is Cassandra and I'm a career coach for career changers, getting you a more fulfilling job that hopefully also makes you more money. So let's talk about how to answer why blank. Why their company? Why Amazon? Why Google? Why Target? Etc. Okay, so I think it helps to first really quickly just go over what not to do. So first, it cannot be generic. What I mean by that is it can't be, well, Amazon is the best and I've always wanted to work for the best or, you know, this is just a really great opportunity and I hear really great things about the company, so I really want to work here. Really? Did really just become a drinking game? But those are the types of answers I get when people haven't prepared. Very generic positivity of just, well, you're a great company, or this is a great company, and this is the best, or you're the best in the industry. It's not going to cut it. The next thing you can't do, it can't be about location or money. Now, this also comes up in why interested as a thing not to do, but I've heard it here also of, well, I just really like that you guys are around the corner from my house. That's really convenient and helpful. Or I've heard that you pay really well. And so I want to work somewhere that pays well. Well, don't we all? But that can't be why you want to work for their company as an answer. That can be intrinsically and internally something you care about but not for your answer to this question. Now, just for clarification, and we will get into it a little bit more in a minute, you can talk about how you've heard great things about the way they treat employees, but we're just not gonna focus on pay. Okay, and last, don't just tell them who they are. I get this a lot with my interview coaching clients that they'll say, well, you guys are known or, or not even you, they won't address it as you. They will say the company name, like Amazon is known as being a for, uh, at the forefront of technology and innovation and Amazon is blah, 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 blah. And Amazon is this. And it's like, um, first off, they are Amazon. So you can say you, but you can't just rattle off that you know these different facts about the company. Here's where the right answer comes in. You need to tell them what you know about the company, but then you have to connect it to why that matters to you. In order to answer this question well, we need to focus on three things. One, you need to look at their mission, their vision, their values, maybe their culture page or their leadership principles, and then connect what in that resonates and matters to you. That's number one. Number two, you wanna include the department you'd work in and why it's not just about their company, but about the department. And then number three, you need to connect the dots of how you fit within these things. So that first one, you need to go read over their mission, their vision, their culture, their principles or googliness or whatever that part is for them. Read over those things and just jot down some notes of the parts that really do resonate with you. What is part of their mission that you agree with? Or what is part of their core values or principles that you go, oh, I feel that way too. Jot those things down because these do need to be genuine. You don't have to have the utmost passion, but you need to talk about what you connect to. And then you want to talk about why the department or team you'd be on is also exciting to you. You know, these huge corporations, the Amazons, the Googles, just anything global or national to only talk about the company seems a little absurd. You've got to talk about that team too. I'm so excited to be working on a team that does this, this, and this, right? You want to be talking about the ways that you're excited for what you'd get to do as part of that department 
and not just the company at large. But the last point, connecting the dots, that is what's going to take an answer from good to great. This is actually one of my biggest pieces of feedback I give in my interview coaching. A lot of times in a bunch of different answers, but especially this one, candidates, the interviewee, give answers that imply they agree, but they don't outright state it. So they will talk about the company mission. They will talk about the company values or a principle that they really enjoy and it's implied that they they think because they're talking about that principle, well, obviously I agree with that principle. You need to state it. In your head, you're thinking, I'm talking about it. It's obvious I agree or align with these things, but they need to know for sure that you agree with whatever you're talking about. So make sure you're connecting the dots. You have to verbally connect the dots between what they do that you like and why you like it. So let's take Amazon, for example. If I was asked why Amazon, this would be part of my answer. I love that one of Amazon's leadership principles is bias for action. I don't wanna work somewhere where we sit around and stew on a problem, but never really take action to move forward and figure it out. And I'm excited that at Amazon, we really focus in and get the hard work done to move forward. I'm a self-starter and I'm excited to work with other self-starters that want to fix these problems and come up with excellent solutions for our customers. And that's something that really lights me up and gets me excited for the possibility of working here. So basically, like, I can't just say, oh, I like that you have a bias for action. I have to state why I too have a bias for action and why it excites me that I get to work somewhere that aligns with that. So make sure you integrate the mission, the vision, the values, the leadership principles, some piece of those sorts of things into your answer. Then add in the department or team. What about that department or team is exciting to you? Something you'd get to work on, a skill you'd get to grow in, or a skill you'd get to share if you were in that department. And then be sure to connect the dots of why these things matter to you. Now, there are two other questions that tend to trip people up in an interview, and they are, why are you interested in this position? And why are you the best fit for the job? They sound very similar but there are subtle differences to the answers. I recommend you go watch my video all about how to answer those two right here. And if you just need more interview tips, you can go here. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.